In this video we're going to look at adding uh, Google Analytics to your website. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to the Google Analytics page and you can see the web address here. Click Access Analytics and you'll need to log in. Uh, I'm going to use an account here that I've specially set up uh, for this video. and then just click sign in. Now, Because this is your first time to use analytics you have to sign up for analytics and you need to enter the website URL. I'm going to use one of my uh, websites, niche website guide uh, just as an example. And you need an account name um, it will default to the same as the URL and you need to select the time zone um, I'm going to try and select the UK um, if I can find it um, no, can't seem to find it it's a problem with the UK, sometimes it's the UK, sometimes it's um, England, sometimes it's Britain uh, I'll just go I think and bid the US and then continue and then you just need to add some information and I'm not going to bother with the phone number just have a look on the right see if there's anything over there and now continue and terms of service we agree to all of that and then create the account and now you've got some code here this is the code that you're going to use to paste into your web pages we just highlight the code and press control C to copy it to the clipboard and now we can just continue to the end of this and just want to show you something here and um, we got tracking status unknown see that and we can check the status um, it will be unknown until Google checks it and, and finds a tracking code on the web page now to do that we have to put the tracking code on the web page now we can add the code to our web pages I recommend you start with the template and you need to go into the source mode or the code mode and we're going to insert it just above the body the closing body tag here and here you can see it's inserted uh, you can see the scripts there and then we need to go and add that to all our other web pages um, and once we've added it to our web pages then we need to upload those web pages back onto our web server okay now we go back to the Google Analytics and check the status and you can see there it's actually working now waiting for data and finish it off and we go back to the status screen and you can see here tracking is installed and it's waiting for data and that's it that brings us to the end of the video uh, you can find more information on the website here